Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, I'm Sarah Meeks, and I'm here with Christina to help demonstrate what not to do for postural correction and the ways that people try to support their body when they're in standing posture. So Christina, if you'll come into your better body alignment, we'll go through this. Now the first thing I want to talk to people about is you can't correct your posture by pulling your shoulders back. First of all, most people will actually pull their arms back rather than just the shoulders and that can create hyperextension in the back and uh, we're trying to keep things in the back in optimal alignment. So pulling the shoulders back also because posture begins in the feet, you can't correct shoulder alignment by just pulling the shoulders back. Okay, the second thing that I want to mention is squeezing your buttocks together. Now, in the last video I did, I talked about a groin squeeze, which causes the gluteus maximus to contract, but then if you squeeze the glutes together, I now call them the glutes, if you squeeze the glutes together, the gluteus maximus also has a action of externally rotating the legs, the, the legs themselves, but we don't need more external rotation. We usually need more internal rotation and I also want to target the extensor force, uh, force of the gluteus maximus, which means that when you walk, you push with the gluteus maximus to go forward. Okay, other mistakes that people make. They uh, tend to uh, what's the, the, put their hands in their pockets. So I've got pockets here, she doesn't have pockets, so she does the other um, position of just hooking her thumbs over her pants. As soon as you put your weight on your hands or on your thumbs, you'll probably feel a little give in your shoulders. So that's not a good postural correction to do. The next one is folding your arms across your chest. Now you'll notice that I have my left arm over my right arm and Christina has her right arm over her left. So now we're going to switch. I'm going to put my right over my left and she, good going, Christina, <laughs> wonderful. So that would be called a habitual versus a non-habitual type of movement. Another thing that people tend to do is place their hands on the top of their pelvis. Now they, a lot of people call this their hips. It's actually the top of the pelvis. We've already gone through where the hips are, but again, we're supporting a weak back with our arms. So what we want to do is learn some of the visual images that I gave in the last video so that we can use our back muscles and our postural muscles to obtain an upright posture. I want to thank you all for watching this video and I'd also like to uh, thank Christina for driving here from Jacksonville to help me with this um, with this video today and I hope to see you again on the next video in this series. <laughs>